Jasper County got a scar on them that runs from here to here, and it's healing. Uh, you can't see it real. You can't see that scar real good now, but it's still there. That scar runs along Huff Creek Road. It's where James Bird Jr. was chained to the back of this pickup truck, then dragged for three miles by three white men. His body was found here, torn apart. Former Jasper County Sheriff Billy Rolls knows it well. You know, I was there the whole time. I was there, uh, helped load the body in the body bag, helped pull the head and the shoulder and the, out of a culvert. He's told this story hundreds of times at press conferences. Are y'all members of the Aryan Brotherhood? Are you and during the three trials for John King, Russell Brewer, and Sean Barry, who were all convicted for Bird's death. I retired because of this. Uh, it, it started affecting my, my health, uh, started affecting the family. He spent seven to eight years away from law enforcement so he could heal, but he eventually found his way back. Got to where I was having fun again, being the police. Being the police nine times out of ten is fun, you know. Life after the James Bird case was different for Pat Hardy, who was the prosecutor. Winning a case never meant as much to me as winning a jiu-jitsu match or especially winning a street fight. Hardy says he spent long hours looking over evidence with his partner, Guy James. But at the end of each day, he was here. After one of those days, I would be so tired. When somebody starts getting ready to choke you, you wake up, you know. <laughs> Between breaks, he was very busy in front of TV cameras and getting asked questions from reporters. He never wanted to be the center of attention, but when this iconic photo was taken, history was made. The chain in his hands were used to drag James Bird Jr. to his death. I jerked it out of that box and it hit on that wood floor in Jasper County Courthouse and I'll guarantee you talk about making impact. A pivotal moment in the trial and for his career. Hardy calls this case one of his biggest accomplishments. It's something he can't forget. You hear? You let your arm slip out. He retired in 2002 and spent his time fighting in tournaments and training. In 2005 and 2008, he became the Black Belt Jiu-Jitsu World Champion. Memories come flooding back as Kathy Fry looks through old newspaper articles. She covered James Bird's murder the day after it happened for the Beaumont Enterprise. And I, I, did, I cried on the way back. I, I could not imagine a human suffering that much at the hands of somebody else just because he was black. She says she will never forget the day this picture was taken. It's of Sean Barry's truck, the truck used to drag James Bird Jr. to his death. The photographer was laying on his back behind the pickup truck and shooting up at the back of it. And that just gave me chills because he was trying to show what this man would have last seen, you know, um, before he died. As she looks over her article, she realizes how much she learned about her role as a journalist, to report the facts, but also to show compassion. The dragging death of James Bird changed not only the city of Jasper, but her as well. It was 20 years ago, and to realize that there's still that much hate um, based on the color of one's skin, uh, it, it's still very sobering to me. Um, just especially having uh, witnessed something of this nature, it just, it really changes the way you view the world and the way you perceive what is or isn't racism. Mm. Such a compelling story. Yeah. Just seeing those chains was scary enough, just seeing the yeah. chains. Mm -hmm. It was just really intense speaking to everybody who went through it just about what they went through and just how it was. But um, all of them are doing different things now. Pat Hardy, he is retired, but he's considering possibly going back into law. And then Kathy, she's now working for a nonprofit. And then Billy Rolls, of course, is the sheriff of Newton County. So it's hard just, to believe it's, yeah, it's been 20 years already. Yeah, I didn't realize it had been that long. Yeah. Thanks so much. Thanks, Jack. We appreciate it.